In this video, we're going to show you Rambo, our Ram 1500 truck hotel that we outfitted in order to take epic two or three week road trips. We are often stopped in parking lots of restaurants, parks, campgrounds, breweries, and truck stops if people catch a glimpse of us opening up the back. And we finally decided to take you all on a tour and show you how we did it. We originally had a 17 year old Toyota Corolla we would use to travel stuffed with tents and clothes and other camping gear. It wasn't until a trip to the Everglades at the end of 2016 that we decided, okay, these mosquitoes really suck. In this particular video, we're on a weekend getaway in the Catskills and aren't fully loaded like we normally would be for a long trip. We like to keep the front of the truck where we sit as minimal as possible. When you're traveling a long time, you want your space as a driver or as a passenger. This is our center console. We like to keep just a few things in here like napkins, an inverter, small knife, whatever. On the left you can see our USB plugins, so we keep this open to be able to plug stuff in and keep it in there. It also serves as a nice flat surface to use for our cutting board and eat cheese and crackers. This is our 65 quart Pelican cooler that we use to store our food and drinks in the back cab of our truck. Typically, depending on the time of year and temperature, we can get anywhere from seven to 10 days without having to put new ice in. When we pack the cooler, we usually have a couple hotel pans to store food we do not want to get wet when the ice eventually melts. Underneath, we usually have a mix of seltzer, beer, and anything that is in a waterproof container. We always keep the drain side near the door to drain out any water. Once the ice melts and we want to get rid of some water, it makes it much easier. Also, you can see we keep overstock items on the footboard in front of the cooler, such as seltzer and water. We like to keep backpacks and hiking backpacks on this other side that we can grab quickly without having to get from the back of the truck. In these things, we keep things like rain jackets, extra socks, plugs, etc. In this bag, we keep the drone, the GoPro, other camera equipment, anything electronic. These are our magnetic mosquito nets called Skeeter Beaters that we use when we want airflow inside the front of the truck, but don't want mosquitoes. This is a sunshade. We use this for a few reasons. We keep the inside of the truck cooler. We get some privacy. Maybe we're working on a laptop, we want less glare. In another video, we'll show you how these sunshades help us with portable bathroom stops. When you can't get to a bathroom, can't find a bathroom, but you really gotta go. These magnetic privacy curtains we got from Amazon are for the front and rear driver and passenger side windows and they work just like the Skeeter Beaters, except you put them inside the truck. As you can see from the outside, this gives you complete privacy. From the inside, it reduces a lot of light, but it lets you see somewhat what is going on outside. We also use a curtain in the cab of the truck, which we will show you in a bit. This is our hotel bed. Greyhound always makes sure the bed is made now because so many people have seen it not made and they even take pictures of it. As you can see, the bed sits atop a frame with drawers. For each side window, we have handmade curtains with magnets in them that we repurpose from an old shower curtain and we fix them to the sides when we want privacy or when we're sleeping. They do a great job of blocking out morning light as well, which is great in the summertime. On the outside, even without the curtain, it really is hard to see inside. And as you can also see, we have a sliding window with a screen for air ventilation on both sides. We're not kayaking this time, but when we do, these are the racks we use, the Thule Dock Glide with square bars. And we tend to store most of our kayaking equipment in the kayaks themselves. These drawers are the total length of the bed of the truck. We use containers to store clothes, sneakers, water, dry food, cooking equipment, anything that can fit and that doesn't necessarily need to be accessed quickly. You can use the containers to set up kits too, like for cooking, that you can then easily take out. 
The truck cap is made by ARE, and while we can take the entire cap off the truck, we never have. The only awkward part of climbing in is taking your shoes off. We try to keep the bed as clean as possible, so we have some space near the tailgate to store our shoes. We also have a USB powered mosquito killer lantern that we bought on Amazon. It can hang or be set on a flat surface, which is great for a tabletop. It also has a camp lantern on the bottom with three different brightness settings. This is an LED light that we bought with the cap. It has three settings, on, off, and automatic when we open it. We found magnets to work the best for hanging the curtains. Since an adhesive strip attaching to Velcro did not work very well, and the strip just ripped right off. This is our three port cigarette lighter 12 volt battery block. Here we plug in our phones to charge and electric blankets in the colder months. In the hotter months, we use this portable oscillating fan. We bought the blankets and fan on Amazon, but you can find any of these items at a truck stop. We also use the fan in the front when the truck is off. We have four cubby holes in each of the corners of the bed to store clothes, shoes, glasses, phones, etc. The tailgate of the truck has a bed liner with some naturally fitting places to enjoy an adult beverage. In the bed of the truck, we also have cup holders to be able to enjoy a drink. We store these flat in our cubby holes and clip onto the railing when we want to use. Damn, that's good. This is the platform and drawers we built that we made using mostly scrap wood. We ordered a custom sized wool mattress from Shepherd's Dream that we love. It's super comfortable and fits the space perfectly. It's a couple inches shorter than a standard queen size mattress. We use queen size sheets and two separate twin size duvets because otherwise Magellan would take all the covers and roll up like a burrito in them. We roll up the bed and store it in our house when we don't need it and usually keep the platform in the back by itself so we can transport anything else we need on a day-to-day -day basis. Let us know if you're interested in a step-by-step -step video on how to make this platform. A couple other things too. This is our shower pop-up tent that we use to shower and also go to the bathroom. Stay tuned for those videos. And that's it. This is Rambo. Or as we like to say sometimes, the Hotel Rambo. Saved us tons of money from staying in a real hotel or motel or places where there aren't any. This truck has gone everywhere with us, minus overseas. And we hope to inspire you to travel with less requirements in order to see the things you want to see. We love our home and we prefer hotel beds too. But we aren't willing to let not having a hotel stop us from exploring the more remote but amazing and beautiful places of this nation. This is Magellan. And this is Greyhound. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more epic road trips, kayaking, hiking, and other outdoor adventure videos, please subscribe to our channel. We'll see you on the trails or in the water.